咱继续来思想，咱最近咱谈的信息叫做《Heroes of Faith》。They would like to continue on our series, Heroes of Faith. And today we would like to take a look at the life of Noah. And today we would like to take a look at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. We have already looked at the life of Noah. Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's faith is the faith that walks with God. That's the faith's continuity. Well, Enoch's In verse chapter eleven, verse seven, he says, "Lah, in your sin, you have made a covenant with the Lord. 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 You have made a covenant But his faith, by his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. There are three things here that is being pointed out by this verse. Noah 相信上帝话 Noah believed in God's word. Noah 相信，诶，信心定了这个世代的罪 And his faith condemned the sins of this world. Noah 信心承受了上帝的义 And his faith made him heir of God's righteousness. This is a good way. These three sentences showed us the three、uh, different aspects,、uh, three、uh, special aspects of the faith of Noah. How this man took the faith and put it into action. How he put his faith and how he placed, how he put his faith into action. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. Noah believed in God's word. This is Noah's faith. And then Noah and what about the things not yet seen in holy fear built an ark to save his family. This quote is the meaning of what does this? What does this statement mean? We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand what this statement means. We need to go back to the book of Genesis to truly understand So, let me talk about Lara, Gao Yilok, the the Lara, ten generations, to Adam, Gao Lara, ten generations. And it shows us the ten different generations uh, from uh, Adam to Noah. Lara, the father is Lamech. Noah's father is Lamech. Lamech, the father is Methuselah. And Lamech's father was Methuselah. Methuselah's father is Yilok. And Methuselah's father was Enoch. And you need to look at the the four generation, the relationships that they had between each other. Enoch, he had a son named Methuselah. Enoch had a son named Methuselah. When Enoch had a son named Methuselah, when Enoch had a son named Methuselah, God revealed Himself, gave a special revelation to Enoch. When your son dies, I will place judgment upon this world. So Enoch did two very special things. So he named his son Methuselah. Methuselah means that this man will die. The meaning of his name is when he dies, the,、uh, God will judge this world. So, so here we can see Enoch's belief or faith in God's word. So he named his son Methuselah. So he named his son Methuselah. Second, he started to worship God. 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 Second, he started Because he knew that this world will be destroyed by the Lord, and he did not place his value on this world. He started to seek the Lord. So, in verse 
faithfully. So he faithfully walked with God when he was 65 years old. 我望上帝有通改变你。And I hope that God can change our point of view regarding our lives. This place, this world where we live in, is not our eternal home. One day, this world will be destroyed. It will pass away. So we need to start walking with God. Because when we start to start to walk with God, it has an eternal value. I truly believe. Before Enoch passed away, he shared what God revealed to him to his son Methuselah. He says, "Son, when you die, God will judge this world." When before Methuselah died, I'm sure that Methuselah also spoke to his son. Said Lamech. When I die, God will place His judgment upon this world. And I believe. And Lamech also passed this on to his son Noah. Said Noah, your great grandfather, when your great grandfather passed away, God will pass judgment. So you see. This message had been passed on for four generations. Laa, 相信四代人所讲嘅话。And Noah believed what the what his forefathers had revealed to him. 伊相深深相信。And he truly believed. 什么时我嘅 great grandfather 离开世界时阵 ？The day my grand great grandfather dies. 上帝必审判这个世界。God will have His judgment on this world. 圣经讲。The Bible tells us because he believed that he saw what、uh, things that are that are yet to happen. What are these things? God will reveal、uh, the things to him even more clearly. God will reveal things to him even more clearly. God will reveal things to him even more clearly. And I will use a flood to destroy the world. Listen. Listen. Enoch didn't know what God would do to destroy the world. Enoch had no idea how God would do to destroy the world. Enoch had no idea how God would Will destroy this world. He just knew one thing. That when his son dies, God will have his judgment on this world. But but Noah was clear about one thing. On the method God will use. God will use a flood to destroy this world. So I say in God's good way. So the Bible tells us. So with holy fear. This is not easy. So with holy fear. This is not easy. This is not easy. Because he had not yet seen it. Do you know? During the time of Noah, God never had any rain. Gave rain to the people. They they never experienced rain. So how then can they can they fathom how it will be? How the world will be destroyed by flood? They have never seen such an event. But what is faith? Faith, the substance of the thing hoped for, evidence of thing not seen. Since him think he will. Faith is very special. May quite you. You have not yet seen it. But you know. May quite you. But you know. May quite you. You have not seen it. I think. But you believe. 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 Reverend Chung, how do you know that it never rained during that time? Because in Genesis chapter two, verses five and six, during that time, God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. So where does this water come from? Without water, how did they survive? During that time, the stream come from the earth, the water whole surface of the ground. During that time, God sent streams that came out from the earth to water the surface of the of the earth. During that time, John Sekai changed the green house into a greenhouse. The whole world was like a big greenhouse. What is a greenhouse? What is a greenhouse? I mean, it because it. Oh, it's the ideal situations for plants and other things to grow and to to thrive. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people during the generation of Noah, time of Noah, they lived such a long life. So you now understand why people
for longevity. There is no pollution. So that's why people live such a long life. At the same time, at the same time, and during that time, people refuse to eat meat. They only eat vegetables. They live in an ideal situation. What they eat, what they consume are perfect. That's why they live such a long life. How come right now our lives are so short? After the flood, it destroyed the situation, this world. It changed the environment. It became worse. How about today? We have so much pollution. Sometimes we live in the Metro Manila, we are not aware of it. If you have a chance, you go to Antipolo. To the highest point in Antipolo. And you look down at Metro Manila. You would, you would really be afraid. You'd find this dark cloud all over, hovering all over Metro Manila. We are living in such a polluted uh, situation. So in a that's why we are in the state of health that we're in. We eat we, whatever uh, it, it's there. We don't care if it's dirty or not. And so we, in, we are nourished by it. That's why people from United States or Canada, when they come here to visit the Philippines, they get sick immediately. Because they cannot survive in such a polluted uh, situation. During the time of Noah, Man, they perfect. That the place that the world they live in was perfect. It never rained. How do you believe this? Is it by faith? By faith, he believed what the Lord had revealed to him. So that's why the Bible included this. Phrase. He believed in what the Lord told him. And in holy fear. He listened to God's word to the point that he believed and he revered God's word. I believe that uh, every one of us read the Bible every day. But I believe that uh, not everybody who reads the Bible has this holy fear of the Lord. I'm going to repeat myself many times. We have had time to read the Bible. But we do not truly revere God. Because we do not believe in the word of the Bible 100%. We have selective things. We select things that we want to believe in. The things that I want to accept, those are the things that I will believe in. Things that I refuse to believe in, I refuse to accept. We do not have enough reverence for the Lord. Many years ago, I saw this uh, sentence, and I really love this statement. So I wrote this down on my Bible. This book can keep you from sin, but sin can also keep you from this book. May the Lord help us. And we will truly revere the Lord. So when we study the Bible, when we read the Bible, we will read it with an with a attitude of holy reverence. Because if the Bible tells us so, that is how God tells us so. That's why we need to use the wisdom that we can find in the book, uh, the Bible, to help us resolve things. There was a king in the Bible called Josiah. Josiah he was a very good king. When he was eight years old, he was crowned the king. And during his uh, very young age, he had this high priest who was a very good person to guide him in his uh, leadership. When he was 18 years old, he wanted to rebuild the temple of the Lord. Those who love the Lord would remember the Lord's property. As he was repairing the temple, they discovered among the ruins of the temple the book of the law. And they gave the book of the law to the king. And the king the king requested somebody to read the book. And what happened? 
破伊的沙工，你要何国为官？为官民？为官犹太人的百姓？对这刚起来面叫门摇话兄弟。When the king heard the words of the book of the law, he tore his robes. Go and inquire of the Lord for me and for the people and for all Judah what about what is written in this book that had been found. Why? Because 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 They have not acted in accordance with all that is written there concerning us. We see that in his situation, he read the Bible to a point that he tore his clothes. He said, "Woe is to us!" Because we have not lived according to the words of the Bible. And we have brought about God's anger and judgment upon us. That is called holy reverence. What time? That when you read the Bible to a point that you shed tears. I'm wrong. I've committed sin against God. And that you pray to the Lord, Lord, I have sinned against you. That's very strange. But it's strange. That's very strange. It rarely happens. Because we do not believe a hundred percent the word of the Bible. You said I believe. But we do not believe one hundred percent. That's a selective belief the word of God. We have selective. But believe in the word of God. May the Lord help us. And we need to go back to the Bible. Just like Noah. Believe the word of God. That he believe in the word of God. What is the Bible? Somebody use three letter M's to de- describe the Bible. The word of God is like milk. Because after we accept the Lord, we are newborn babies, spiritual babies. We are spiritual babies. We need milk. We need to be nourished by spiritual milk. God's word becomes our spiritual milk. That's why we need to study God's word. So we can grow, we can uh, develop. God's word is like the meat. Not only milk, but we need to grow. But we need to learn how to eat meat. But after uh, becoming a Christian for a time, we don't just come to the church to listen to the pastor when he speaks. We need to study the Bible on our own. Your own Bible. To study your own Bible. Devotion. To do daily devotion. Bible study. To join Bible studies. Meat. This is what we call eating meat. So you can grow. Shong Dewe is a mirror. And God's word is the like a mirror. mirror. It's our spiritual mirror. I'm sure that everybody, when we woke up this morning, we looked at the mirror. When we wake up, and we look at the mirror, then we need to fix ourselves. Now, of course, especially for the ladies, not all, but most of the ladies, they look at their face without makeup and they are afraid. They need to make up their, themselves. So they need to look good. This is a mirror, a function. This, that is a function of a mirror. The Bible is a spiritual mirror. Is a spiritual mirror. When you look at the Bible, you would look at your own life, your own face. You look, look at your own sins. You can see your own shortcomings. And you would beg uh, for, uh, for the help of the Lord, for the forgiveness of the Lord. Put Into action. Put it into action. How to change your life? Noah was like that. He believed in the word of God. 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 He Reverence for the Lord. If you study God's word and you don't have reverence for the Lord, then probably you're reading the wrong Bible. Because you have not truly believed that the Bible is God's word. Whatever God had proclaimed, God will do it. God will never lie nor change. God is a consuming force. Fire. So that's why that we are told that God is a consuming fire. May the Lord help us. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. 
We need to believe in God's word. Not only know, did Noah believe in God's word, but his faith condemned the sins of this world. God, his faith was one that condemns the sin of this world. What does this mean? What did the Bible tell us? By his faith, he condemned the world. Noah was the very first person in the Bible to be declared a righteous person. I'm not saying that Abel was not a righteous person. I'm not also saying that Enoch was not a righteous person. But the Bible clearly states that in the God's eyes, Noah was a righteous person. Look at Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of this time, and he walked faithfully with God. Look at verse, uh, chapter 7, verse 1. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I found you righteous in this generation. What does his statement mean? In this world, there are two kinds of people. The first kind are those who like to accuse people and condemn people. The second kind of person whose mere presence will condemn other people. Let me explain to you. Let me explain this to you. The first kind of person, they like to judge other people. They have very sharp eyes. So when they look at other people, they'll, they'll point out all the wrongs that other people are doing. And they'll use, uh, if you put it in God's word, from God's, uh, from Jesus' point, uh, own statement, he only saw that kind of person, only see the speck on other people's eye, but yet failed to see the log on his own eye. To make uh, this uh, more clear, this is the difference between the policemen between the Philippine, uh, in the Philippines and those that are in Hong Kong. I believe most of us have been ap apprehended by the policemen. Maybe because we're in a hurry, we run the red light. Or maybe we didn't know that uh, it's a no U turn, so we made a U turn. That's a left turn, that's a right turn. Okay? Or we made a turn that we don't know that that is legal. But we all have this kind of experience. When I know that we cannot do a left turn here, that because of time, so I look around, there are no policemen. I do, do not see any police. So, so I took, make a left turn. But what is amazing, every time I make a left turn, a person will just jump out and surprise you. Stop! I stop. The police will be there. But we have not seen that person before. That person has hidden himself. He was waiting. He's waiting. And he is waiting. When he sees that you made a turn, he was so, he's so happy. Because he wants to judge you. The, a policemen in Hong Kong, they don't do things like that. They don't hide themselves in the corner. They stand out. So that you can see them. That their presence will... Uh, constrain you from making something illegal. That is our problem. We like to judge other people for their sins. Because we have not seen our own mistakes. But listen to me very carefully. But listen to me carefully. One day, if you have been uh, apprehended because of something wrong that you did, please do not give bribes. You make another mistake to cover your mistake. Don't compound your mistake with another mistake. If you're wrong, admit that you're wrong. I've been driving here for 20 plus years. And I have been apprehended several times. But only time, one time has I had to pay the penalty. 
Many times I've been apprehended because I wasn't careful. And I let them know. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. So it's it's I'm a pastor. So, so I'm saying to them, you don't ask anything from me. I'm a pastor. And one time it's very funny. I'm a pastor. And I said, I'm a pastor. What's the pastor? What's the pastor? I go missionary, missionary. And I said, I'm a missionary. So he doesn't know what this it means. Ah, Father. He said, Ah, oh, you're a father. He go, okay, Father, okay. I, I forgive you. He said, Father, I forgive you. <laughs> but one time, that person refused, uh, the policeman refused to give me. So he, he confiscated my license. And he, he held it for a long time. He refused to return it to me. And I couldn't stand it anymore. And I called him. Either you take my uh, um, take my take uh, license and give me a ticket or return my license to me. Okay, uh. That person got angry. <laughs> and he wrote a ticket and gave <laughs> it to me. <laughs> it's the first time for me to get a ticket. <laughs> but I was so happy. <laughs> because I was so happy. Because sometimes because temptation. Because we have this temptation. <laughs> we give several hundreds of pesos to solve the problem. But it's wrong. But it's wrong. <laughs> You add a mistake to cover your mistake. Because you will compound your mistake with another mistake. So, okay. May the Lord help us. The first kind of person are those who like to look at other people and point out their mistakes. Yet they cannot see their own mistakes. They only love to point out the mistakes of other people. But they are a second kind of uh, person. When the person arrives, his presence will condemn you of your sin. That is Noah. It wasn't his intention to condemn other people. But because of his life, he, was, he lived he a righteous life. life. He was a blameless person. And he is a person who walked with God. His life was righteous, it's holy. So when he comes out, he will be different from other people. He didn't need to speak. Without even speaking a word, he condemns other people of their sin. The famous Greek um, philosopher Socrates. One time there was this famous person who spoke with Socrates. I hate you. He said, I hate you. Because every time I meet you, you show me what I am. I hate you because every time I meet you, you show me what I am. And he was so angry with Socrates. So every time he meets Socrates, he, uh, my personality is being revealed. To use Jesus' own word. In him was life, and the life was the light of all mankind. The light shines into the darkness, and the darkness had, has not overcome it. If we are the children of light, those who are in the darkness will refuse to accept us. Because we can show light. Because we can reveal their mistakes. You can, imagine, okay? you can just imagine. imagine. This kind of uh, man. Wow, they are going green joke. They're making green jokes. They're making off color jokes and they're having fun with it. Suddenly you go in. Just imagine. What kind of reaction will they have? Number one, Number one they will all just suddenly become quiet. They will, they will not continue because you're here. Or number two, or number two, or when they see you, they become even happier. Share, share to us your green jokes because you're like them. What kind of person are you? When these people are, are, are discussing women among themselves, when they see you there, what will they say? May the Lord help you. Your life, you don't need to point out the mistakes of other people. But your life, it needs, to be it needs to be revealed that you are different from other people. Every Monday and Wednesday, I play badminton with a group of people. There are people there who are Christians, and there are people there who are non-Christians. After playing with them for several years, 
December, or then my Sakap Chucky Saka Jack Saturday Christmas. So every December we would go out, the whole group would go out to celebrate Christmas. One time while we were having our Christmas party, there was this person beside me who spoke to me. Said, Pastor, you know, before, if you're not here, we will start drinking. But but because you're a part of the group, we have made the decision not to drink anymore. So from that year on, they, they stopped drinking. I'm not saying that it's wrong for you to drink. Control, self control, okay? But you need to practice self control. But then when once they knew that I was there, they don't drink anymore. May the Lord help us. When you are there, has the environment changed because of your presence? Noah lived in a society that do not fear the Lord. But because Noah revered God, God revealed Himself to him. 120 years later, I will destroy the world with a flood. Noah used 120 years to build this huge ark. At the same time, he preached God's word. And on the other hand, he started constructing that ark. And he kept asking the people to repent. And to enter the ark with them. Because God will destroy this world with a flood. But sad to say, seems like nobody believed him. Because in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, if he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others. Sad to say. He preached, but he did not get any results. He only saved his own family, so eight of them entered the ark. God is the one who, uh, that took care of them. The Lord of the world is not the same. In Luke, God uh, this, uh, uh, it described the situation and uh, the society where Noah lived in. You remember this? Jesus said, Jesus said, Jesus said, I'm here for the second time. When I come back on the second time, it will be, the society will be similar to the situation of Noah. This is the society where Noah lived in. During that time, people just ate, they drank, they marry, and they are given to marriage. Eating, drinking, marrying, and being given in marriage is a very normal thing. Everybody needs to eat. Everybody needs to drink. At a certain age, we want to get married. And the, the man would like to have a spouse. This is a very normal situation. But in the Chinese Bible, they added one phrase. Again, 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 and again. They eat, they drink, they marry, and they are given to marriage again and again. There lies the problem. After eating, they love to eat more. After drinking, they want to drink more. This is living for the flesh. You marry and we are given the marriage. A man would have several wives. Or the, 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 the woman would have several husbands. Marriage, divorce, divorce, remarriage, remarriage, divorce again. You marry, you divorce, and you marry again and repeat the cycle. This is during the time of Noah. Let me ask you, how is it different from today? Remember the first time the Lord destroyed this world with a flood. 
second time God said he will use fire to destroy the world. During the first time when God said I will use water nobody nobody believed. Only one family believed. So that one family got saved. Second time. God said I was I would use fire. I will use fire to destroy this world. But I I believe I hope that you will believe. Noah believed. That's why his life, his attitude towards life changed. It's very simple. Eight of them entered the ark. You know why eight? There's four pairs. Noah and his wife. His, uh, three sons and his three daughter in law So there were four pairs who entered. One man, one woman, one, one man, husband, and one wife. It's one man, one wife, one man, and one wife. And this is accordance, in accordance to the truth being taught to us by the Bible. No, it's like that. When he came out, and his mere presence revealed the sins of other people, he did not rebuke other people. But his, the holiness of his life. Revealed the difference between his life and the life of other people. That is being that is being set apart for righteousness. Yes, be set apart. He was truly set apart. Set apart. Jesus is holy. It means he is holy. He's living a holy life. Look at this passage. First John 3 verse 12 tells us, Do not be like Cain who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. Why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Cain was the very first murderer in the Bible. He killed his own brother. Why? Did the, his brother do anything wrong? Did the brother did the brother stole anything from him? Did he swindle him? No, 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 no. no. Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Because he himself was evil. Not, it's not because other people were evil. He was evil himself. And he did not like the righteousness that he saw in other people. For example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example if you are the okay. most beautiful girl in CBCP, Let's have this beauty pageant in CBCP. So it's Miss CBCP. Okay? And you have been declared Miss CBCP. Of course, you have this sash. So every time, like, so every time you're here, CBCP. you have this sash around you that's, that says Miss CBCP. Because okay? you're declared, you are declared the most beautiful uh, woman in CBCP. And every time people see you, they'll say, You're so pretty. For several years, you're always the one chosen. Nobody can win over you. Suddenly, uh, there was this Christian who was new Christian who came here. This person is prettier than you. This is a Miss Universe. So from that day on, whenever you see that person, you get angry. You get it jealous. Why? It, she did not do anything wrong to you. But because she's prettier than you. That's the problem of Cain. Because there were other, he saw other people's life was more righteous than his. So he cannot stand it. May the Lord help us. My dear church, we are not like that. We have to live holy lives. We have to live lives that are different from other people. As Christians, how do we live in this world? You don't need to rebuke other people. But your life needs to be different from other people. If people are uh, treat you badly, don't worry. You need to ask yourself, why? Do they treat me such a way? In such a way? Is it because of something wrong in me? Then I need to repent. If not, take it, take it easy. Take it easy. 
Because that's it's not your fault. When the, uh, Jesus prayed for his disciples on John uh, John chapter 17, there are three things that he prayed that is very special. And that it reveals the status that we have with regards to this world. In chapter 17, verse 6, you are out of the world. Jesus said that we are out of the world. We do not belong to this world. We are out of the world. We are out of the world. We will not be forever be part of this world. We are of heaven. So when people get angry with you, it shouldn't be kind of you are not belong to this world. Because you don't belong to this world. In, how about in but verse we are still in 11. the world. But we still live in this world. We don't belong to this world. But we are not uh, we, uh, uh, we have not departed from so this world. Okay, so we don't need to be monks. We need to live with other people. Why? Why? Because God sent us into the world. Because God sent us into the world. Our life should be life of life. So that's why we are placed in this world. So we, we can witness for the Lord. May the Lord help us. To remember out of the world, that we are out of this world. So we should not find it strange if the world because becomes angry with you. Because you're an alien in this world. But you are still in the world. But you are still living in this world. We are not set apart. We are living here. But for but the sake of we are sent into the world. God sent us into this world. We are the salt and the light in this world. That we can become the salt and the light for this, uh, for God in this world. We are here to witness for the Lord. Noah's faith condemned the sins of the world. The third is Noah's faith made him an heir of God's righteousness. What did the Bible tell us? And become heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. You know, on the latter part of uh, verse 7, it tells us beca he became heir of the righteous that, righteousness as, that comes from faith. There are two kinds of righteousness in this world. In Romans chapter 10, verse 3, there's this righteousness of God and the self righteousness. What does this mean? What do we mean when we say self righteousness? These are righteousness that we made for ourselves. We look at, uh, we want to depend on our own good behavior. We want to depend on our works. And we think that uh, by doing these things, we can seek to please God. And you want to depend on the things that you do to save yourself. What is God's righteousness? You don't look at yourself. You only depend on God. And you use uh, the Bible to, to explain this. By faith, we accept God as our righteousness. Noah, Noah used 120 years to build an ark. Is this not an, uh, an action? When he entered the ark to be saved, was he saved because of his own actions or because of the righteousness of God? He really did his part. Imagine using 120 years to build an ark. How do you go in? How do you go out? So how did the Bible explain this? The Bible explained us righteousness that comes by faith. That his righteousness came by faith. What does this mean? So you need to pay attention to this statement. We do not rely on good works to be saved, but we must do good works after we are saved. We are not saved by good word, we are saved for good word. We are not saved by good works, but we are saved to do good works. The Lord saved us. He wants us to work for Him. So where do we place good work? Before or after? We are saved. It's by faith. After being saved, we do good works. 
it, as, our, as our action to witness our faith. How does the, how does the Bible explain this? In Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, Noah was a righteous man. In uh, chapter 6, verse 14, God said to Noah, Go make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Look at the he was first declared a righteous person before he was asked to do work. It is only after we are declared righteous that we do works for the Lord. Our actions will reveal our faith, it will testify of our, uh, testify our faith. Noah used 120 years. To to construct this huge ark, 480, uh, 38 feet long, 44 feet wide, 43 feet high. It, it has three stories. It has a floor area of 95,700 square feet. You know how big this is? It has twenty. It can contain twenty basketball courts. So this is during the time. This was the biggest vessel in the whole world. He believed in God. 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 He don't uh, deceive other people. True faith will be revealed by our actions. A person who, that is truly saved will have a good conduct. You know, it's not easy to construct an art. It's a huge undertaking. So how, you think of the problems. Where do they get the finances for it? God says, reveal, uh, say to him, build an ark. Where's the money? Did God send the money? No. No. Where, do, where does the money come from? You have to take care of it. So he had to do his own fundraising. So he had to take out all his money. If you, do, if you walk in the way of the Lord, you have to pay the price. A lot of people ask me this question. Say, Pastor, have we started construction of the new church? Have we started construction? How much? And you want to know? And if we will start. They want to know. By God's grace. By God's grace. We will know by March. February. February. There are two companies that submitted their bid. There, the, prices, the price for it is there. Of course, we have to study it. And we will choose one. So in March, March, we will know how much it will cost us. But, but don't worry. You just need to prepare right, right? now. You just need to prepare. I have prepared already. I have already prepared. And then I promise you. And I promise you. It's the first time I'm going to give this. This is not going to be my first, nor this will be my last. I will another offering for God. And have I'll have another offering for God. I have give, I have prepared a big amount for the Lord. And then And I'm going to give again. Prepare. Be prepared. When the news comes, you will know how much. When Noah gave, when he constructed this ark, he did not know the cost. God did not give him any money. But he paid the price for the action. But he paid the price through his actions. Not only is this, does this involve uh, problems of finance. At the same time, he was preaching. He was telling the people to repent, to enter the ark with him. Because the flood is coming. 
for one year, second year, third year, for ten years, twenty years, thirty years. Not, nothing comes out, came out of it. It's like the pastor was saying something and nothing happened. It never took place. And they start to have this unbelief. Just look at it. When Noah constructed this huge ark, how did the people say? This person is crazy. He's uh, of, not of a sound mind. Not only is he crazy, but his whole family is crazy. Sometimes we love the Lord. And people will say, will, will, will ridicule us as crazy people. May the Lord help us. But one day, God revealed to Noah, Noah, you and your whole family will enter the ark. Because after seven years, the flood will come. I'm sure Noah took that as the last opportunity to continue to preach, to ask them to quickly repent, to quickly enter the ark. So after seven years, the, ark, the flood will come. But how did the people react? You're crazy. You're not of a sound mind. So nobody wanted to enter the ark. The whole family of Noah, the eight of them, entered the ark. But this is really interesting. If you look at the Chinese character for the word boat, you'll see this ark on the side. In the middle, you'll find a character for eight. eight and this is the very first um, an ark in the whole world, you see, you see that there's this boat with eight mouths in it. Eight people were in the ark. That is the very first ark. Sad to say, only eight were saved. Once they entered, God sealed the door. Nobody can enter it anymore. Nobody can come out of it anymore. So what happened? The, the water came. The rain came. Just imagine. Outside those who are outside of the ark. For the first day, they are afraid. Second day, the rain did not stop. Do you remember the big flood of Ondoy? It rained for two days non-stop. You know, 95% of the lion was underwater. It's the very first time I saw water coming up to the door of uh, the church. It was raining for two days, only for two days. Just imagine during the time of Noah, it rained for 40 days. The whole world was covered with water. So everybody got drowned. It's too late. It was too late. Too late. May the Lord help us. Faith goes before us. And our action should follow. May the Lord help us. Noah's faith. It's a faith of action. It's a faith of obedience. Because he believed in the word of God. That's why his faith. It condemned the people of this time, of this time, may the Lord help us. We don't need to go out and rebuke people, but, but our lives should be different from the lives of other people. If everybody lives the same life as you live, then nobody needs to be a Christian anymore. You have to, you have to show that you're different. And they, but other people will see the difference. And they will see why you're different. They will ask why you're different. May the Lord help us. Let's pray. Good
，上帝啊，今日你有军在度拉阿提起军，在这个时代，伊有通得救，因为伊相信上帝话，伊将上帝话不用的 action， 结果伊生命显出把把人无伤，伊哋就对上帝来嘅称做异人，就保守你嘅教会，保守你嘅教会，就做拉阿上款。一生单单纯纯信靠上帝，以上帝为在这款一生的标准，圣经就有讲，君就有相信；圣经就有讲，君就有去行。我讲跨掉，好正人都跨掉，好讲比头人都跨掉，君不怕人无伤。特别很少讲的感谢，关哪爱的信心。各自买杂碎棍的条件，条件棍的激烈，那只棍的激动，红猪的性命，哎呢。